Alright, I wanted to show something I got today with my uh, B5512 system here. Uh, one of the things I got today, I'll show the next ones in uh, my uh, upcoming uh, March system test, system test 3 for this panel. Um, so, uh, of course I got the B810 and I'll show you the key phone I got for today. And it's one of the things I got today, I'll show you the other things uh, in uh, system test 3 like I said. But this is basically a wireless key fob that goes with the panel. You need the B810 receiver. The it needs to have like 2.09 or later on the receiver in order to export it. It's the Bosch. This model is the RF KFB FS FBSA. I'll try to show it. I'm not gonna show the RF ID just in case. You know what? I'll just say it again. RF. KF, FSB, FBSA, sorry. So this is basically a uh, uh, Dilux, is what they call it, the Dilux um, uh, keychain remote. You can put it on your keychain, put holes on it. So, and this is basically a key fob. You can remotely arm and disarm the panel. So I'll show you, uh, I hold that lock button. It arms the system. And if I hold on the unlock button, it disarms the system. And then each key fob has its own RFID, so you assign you assign an RFID to each user. And I'll show you, so if I hold on these lock and unlock buttons, I have to set up for a panic. This holding down these buttons is doing a panic, so I hold this down. See, it associates with my name because each key fob is associated with a user on the panel. And then holding these buttons down don't, doesn't do anything. Well, she would have made it so holding these buttons to holding these top two buttons simply to command nine, while holding these buttons down simply to command seven. So, like, if I had like command seven doing a fire panic, like I have right now, like that. So, then. And then, uh, these are these two buttons, these are actually custom function buttons. So, you can have. These two buttons do whatever the heck you want them to do. So if I hold on, for right now if I set so I'll, if I put the system into trouble, I have some programming errors with something I else I have in the system which I'll show in the next test. So it's doing the trouble tone. I had this one so if I hold it down, it silences this trouble tone. And if there's an alarm in the system, it will also um, silence the alarm too. Go ahead and here. Um, and then this button right here, um, just have it set to it mute the keypad tones completely. So, which I doesn't mute the trouble tone. I don't think that. Well, it doesn't mute the trouble tone. I have it because it turns the keypad volume to zero. And this actually might turn on the night light. I don't remember how that programmed on the panel or not with the custom function. We'll see here. Alright, I guess not, so. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the key fob. And I'm probably the first person with a uh, B-series, uh, or B-series panel on YouTube to show one of these. Um, I know some people in Australia have shown these key fobs on their Bosch solution, like 2,000, 3,000 panels or whatever, but, but hey, I don't think anyone else has shut it already on a B-Series panel, so, yep, there it is, so. And, if you want, the, the, key, the key fobs can be supervised. So if it doesn't come, if the key fob is not in range of the, of the device, of the um, V810 and a certain amount of time, it will cause a trouble on the panel, so. Yeah, so yeah, that's the key fob. I know Demco and Honeywell have these key fobs too. But we can do similar things, but yeah, my so if I don't show the key fob on the B series, but one of Bosch's options are, and I might get some more key fobs. I have to send them to different users because you can only have one key fob per user, but yeah, so that's about it for this video. So, thanks for watching.